Good morning, YouTube family. Today we're going to harvest some of our bucket potatoes that we had been growing together on our uh, first part one and part two series on how to grow, you know, uh, potatoes in buckets. So we'll be right back after the break. We'll get started. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start with these Yukon Golds because they are ready to go and the Pontiac Reds needed about another week or so. So let me grab these. Put them in the little wagon so I can roll them over there. Take them over to the harvest area and we'll, we'll get started. See what's in these rascals. First thing I do on these is I trim off these tops, which you've seen me do before. Cut them right off. And I leave them on there because it gives me kind of some little handles. See, they're little handles I can grab onto. Okay, here we go. See, I get my little handles and I shake them. You want to, you need to see things. Here you go. <laughs> little tater for you. Okay, let's put that there. These are Yukon Golds. Now, on a five gallon bucket, and all we had in it was two seed potatoes, bear in mind, a good harvest is anywhere from one to three pounds. One being pretty average, two pounds being pretty good, three pounds being really good. So this isn't like we're dumping out the 20 gallon containers, we're, we're dumping out five gallon. This one was a little wet. You need to move, boy. Yep, some of these potatoes got a little too wet and rotted but the rest of them are pretty good and that happens I mean you can control water but how much you're watering but if you're getting big old deluges every day like we've had that can take its toll on your taters as you can see I lost quite a few in that bucket but that one's no good here's what we got let's put them in the bucket and weigh them You don't want to wash your potatoes off. Leave the dirt on them. 
there we go not very many but it's it's fun to do and let's see what we got on on the scale we got uh, one we got three pounds so we're not gonna complain about three pounds of taters yeah this is how I'm going to store these to let them cure I put them in a, a cardboard box lid and I put them inside the house where it's 72 degrees and um, I don't wash them I leave the dirt on it leave them on this cardboard box and I'll cover it with a paper towel and um, these are ready to eat now if you want to eat them just wash them off and cook them for supper because new potatoes are quite fine but um, if you want to cure them and get them to last you know a couple of months longer then um, you want to let these dry out these skins will cure over in the next couple of weeks come in here every day and kind of move them around a little bit and um, in about two weeks these things will be cured up and they'll last a couple three months so we'll be back in about a week and we'll harvest the last two buckets of um, Pontiac Reds and see if there's a little bit better harvest hopefully it didn't get quite as waterlogged as these so we'll see you back in about a week well the rains have not let up a little bit at all and uh, we had a real disappointing uh, harvest on the Yukon Gulls how to, some root rot got into the buckets from the excess rain and um, I don't know if these uh, Pontiac Reds are going to be much better but we're going to give it a shot I want to go ahead and get them out because um, it, we got rain coming <laughs> it goes off the 10 day chart so we might as well get these out. I don't think I'm going to get any more relief from the rain. So let's cut the tops. Get those out of the way. I like to leave a little handle on there. You've seen me do before. Okay. Let's take a look at what's in them. And hopefully something came out without getting root rot. Some mighty wet pots. You can't control how much rain we get, but you know we can we can control the amount of sprinklers and water that we give them. But sometimes we just have to roll with the punches and don't let it discourage you if you if you lose a little a crop once in a while. I mean this it is what it is. So here we go. Let's see what kind of see what we're getting. Yeah, a few in here. Yep, see, some of them are already rotten. A lot of them are rotten. So we can't, we just have to live with it. Yeah, this, this bucket didn't make it. That one didn't make it. Let's see if this one did any better. It feels a little bit drier for some reason. Hopefully it made it. A little bit better. Strange. Those buckets are sitting right next to each other, and uh, that one looks a little discolored. If I get enough to hand my mother-in-law enough for a single meal, it was all worth it. She loves them. If you want to be in that number one son-in-law status, make sure you give her some vegetables every chance you get. Makes them so happy. A little bit of tater candy in there. And that's about it. So. Okay, I got enough out of that bucket to, to give my mom-in-law at least three or four little meals just for her. She'll she'll be um, 
tickle pink to get them so i can't wait to give them to her so i hope that our um series on how to grow potatoes in buckets helped you um maybe next year we'll get a little bit drier weather and we get a little bit better crop but i'm grateful for everything i get and thankful so if you like our videos we ask you to please subscribe to our channel be a part of our youtube family and until me and nancy see you next time always remember by his hands we are fed give us lord our daily bread amen have a blessed day Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.